hey what's going on guys in this tutorial we're going to take a look at creating this uh, simple 2d logo animation inside hitfilm express um, so let's take a look at it one more time and then we will start our tutorial all right um, so let's create a new composition go to file and create a new composition the template i'm going to select is 1080p at 60 frames per second you're free to choose your own template and click on start compositing uh, click on the composite shot properties icon and uh, we're going to change the duration of our animation to four seconds and click on ok um, so uh, let's start uh, by creating a new plane layer i will call this bg this will be our uh, main color for our animation the starting color i will change its color to the light red color and click on ok Again, click on new layer, click on plane. This will be our circle wipe. So let's rename it circle wipe and change its color to like a yellow color. Or you can use your own color if you want to. Again, click on OK. Now to create a circle, you can use the mask tool, the ellipse mask tool. But I'm going to go to effects and search for polar warp and apply it on this layer now all we have to do is animate this layer so we'll go into transform and create a scale keyframe we'll set the scale to zero at the first frame and we'll move forward to like one second in time and let's just increase the scale and completely fill in this area with our with our circle wipe layer so we'll have something like this then we'll select these two keyframes and convert it to manual bezier and we can create a slope like this so we have this nice and smooth animation then i'll just duplicate this layer and i'll just call this circle wipe 2 and we'll apply a fill color on this go inside the fill color set the blend amount 100 and change its color as well all right then go inside the transform and we'll select the these two keyframes and just shift it to the right by about three or five or six frames so that uh, we have some displacement in between these two layers so right now we can't see anything uh, it's because our wipe layer the main layer is sitting on top so make sure your circle wipe 2 is on the top followed by your second layer so we'll have something like this the next step is to create another plane layer we'll call this circle um let's just keep it let's just name it circle and the color is going to be yellow and click on ok again we'll apply the polar warp on this layer and we'll go inside the polar warp and we need to change a few uh, settings right here so first up is the end radius we'll change that to something like um 270 or 280 and end radius as well so we'll do something like make a very really thin uh line so something like 270 looks good um and then we'll animate the rotation and the range so uh make sure you do create uh, you create these keyframes at the first frame of your video i will just move forward to one second and uh, at the first frame we'll set the range to zero and rotation to zero as well and at the last frame we'll set the range to 180 so i'll just make a one complete path or uh, one complete uh, rotation or something like that so um uh, we have this rotation and then we can select these keyframes and convert it to manual bezier and um so we'll have this smooth animation then uh, what we can do is um maybe we can uh, change the position at which this animation ends so it's ending right at the bottom we can change the rotation value and we can just you know decide where we want to end our animation so let's just end it right over there or uh, you know what let's just um make one complete uh, rotation like that and uh, once it crosses 360 
uh, you can see this number uh, increases to one or changes to one so that means you have created one uh, rotation one complete rotation and uh, we'll just put it in our animation right here so again I'm gonna highlight this keyframe and make sure it is a manual Bezier keyframe and you can see we have something uh, that didn't work uh, okay why it didn't I don't know uh, but just make sure that it makes a one complete rotation here so I'll just do that one more time and um, yeah let's keep it uh, it's actually this right here number represents 360 and we add 71 to it so it's basically we'll have we'll end up with this animation okay and what I'm going to do is we'll just copy these two keyframes and move in between these two keyframes so let's move in between like 30 frames I'll just paste these keyframes right there and um, Uh, what we can do is let's just delete these two keyframes and they will just move forward to like uh, another second so somewhere over there and we can um, close this animation basically so we can do um, we can set the range back to zero like that so it goes back like that and we can here we can change the rotation as well so let's make it uh, I don't know I just changed uh, put a random number over there and let's see what happens okay so we have something like that that is looking pretty nice so uh, what I want to do is basically I want to end my animation right at this point so what I can do is I'll just delete the rotation keyframe and let's just change this value and bring it right over here okay so as you can see if I scrub through my timeline uh, okay we have something like that yeah that is looking nice as well so um, because you just have to play around with these values and uh, I can see that there is some bit of a subtle movement in this point right here so maybe I just have to so it's at 71 so I think I just have to you know decrease it to 249 and let's see how it, that looks yeah uh, pretty less movement so I'll just um, stick with that now the next step is to duplicate our circle layer and we'll call this circle dot 2 or two anything you can you can rename it anything um, then what we'll do is go inside the circle two layer go inside the effects polar warp and we'll just um, displace these two these all these keyframes so I'll just move all these to the right side and uh, I'll also apply a fill color on this so fill color search for it and apply it onto your circle two layer so the blend to 100 percent and uh, will change its color as well I'm gonna use this color right here and click on OK so now as you can see we have something uh, like that so um, that's looking good but it's missing something so uh, let's go inside our effects I think the duration is too much so um, what I can do is um, just move all these keyframes in like that so it sh the animation should add and this time right here and I'll just do the same uh, with my other layer the circle layer let's bring it in like that somewhere over there and that looks nice so let's take a look at our animation yeah that is looking fine uh, just had to play around with this and uh, you will eventually get it so um, now what we can do is create the last of that circle 
animation so one thing we can do is we can just duplicate this circle layer and rename this to uh, logo placeholder and go inside that go inside the effect uh, polar warp and what I basically want is I want to delete these two keyframes okay and at one second and 30 frames I'll just put my playhead at that time I'll select these two keyframes and put it right there okay and then we'll go to transform and scale it down a bit let's see what we have here uh, let's just scale it down to around 40 or 43 and uh, this is the place where we'll, we'll be putting our logo so if it's if the shape is too thin you can go inside the logo placeholder go inside effects polar warp and we can change the end radius like that and i'll uh, you know make it a bit more thick um so i'll just leave it at leave it at 290. So let's take a look at our overall animation so this is what we have created so far now this is the place where our logo will go so what i'm going to do is i'll just create a for logo i'll just create a text layer i'll just set its width and height to 200 and click on ok um, then i'll select the text tool and type in the letter m hit ctrl a to select that text go to the text tab i'll just change it to this font I don't know how to pronounce it I'll just increase the font size click on center alignment and then increase the font size and um, I'll just change its color so I uh, will just pick this color pick screen color click on that option and you can just use this color right here and click on OK next thing we will do is center it up inside this shape something like that all right so now we have this problem the logo stays forever it begins with the starting of our animation and um, to fix that we can go to the text layer we'll go just call this logo and we can keyframe the opacity we'll just create a keyframe set that to zero and just move forward like 10 frames and set that to 100 so we have something like this and we will we can also create a scale animation so we'll create a keyframe set the scale to something like 70 or 80 and then we'll set that to 100 like that okay um, so far so good now uh, we can add another text layer this will be your tagline so just or your channel name anything you can put it right there Set the width to 1920 and click on OK then select the text tab text tool and uh, type in the text so I'll just type in my channel name hit control a to select your text and we'll just in decrease the font size and increase the spacing in between the letters like that and then we will use the selection tool and just bring this text uh, somewhere over here won't put it uh, right below this because we will be animating it um, so let's just put it right there we'll call this logo um, text tool. now we just have to animate our logo text and the logo placeholder all these three layers so what we can do is um, we'll animate the logo placeholder first so let's go to logo placeholder transform and 
right after this animation ends we'll create a position keyframe and move forward to about 40 frames and i'll just bring the position to the top uh, like that and uh, change the keyframe and make it manual bezier then i'm going to do the same thing uh, i'll just copy these keyframes do the same thing with the logo layer position the paste the position keyframe so uh, we can change its starting position it should be right over here and the end uh, didn't work so let's just do that again I'll just copy this or you know what let's just do this uh, manually so just start here change the position and move 40 frames forward and just put this text in the center of our logo placeholder convert these keyframes to manual bezier and then we can do the same thing with our text so we'll start here and um, start right here in fact and we'll go inside logo text tool create a position keyframe move 40 frames forward and bring this text down like that select these two keyframes and convert it to manual bezier um, now we need to create an opacity keyframe for this text as well so let's just do that We'll create a opacity keyframe and set it to zero and we'll move forward and uh, right over here we'll create crank up the opacity to 100 so we have something like this um, I can move this keyframe right over here and uh, see how it looks just bring it right over here Yeah, you can just play around with the positioning of these keyframes and uh, there we have it um, so let's take a look at our animation yeah that is looking really nice so uh, that's it for this video guys I hope this tutorial was helpful if it was please do consider liking the video and also subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one peace